welcome back to my channel. In today's minimalism series video, we're going to be cleaning up your wardrobe. This is so important because when your wardrobe is organized, it's not going to take you as much time to find the clothes that you're looking for. Sometimes it's hard when most of what you own is black. But anyway, um, it's also really important because if you're actually putting your clothes away properly and you're looking after them properly, they're going to last you a longer amount of time. Now this video does tie in with the very first minimalism series video I ever did and that is on how to cull your wardrobe. If you haven't seen that one, watch that one first. There is a link to the playlist in the description box so go watch the cull your wardrobe video and then come back and watch this one. Uh, this one is about how to keep your actual wardrobe itself organized. So you've already culled, you're ready to start packing things away neatly. If you can see the writing on my hand, it's because I had to go buy supplements today for some orders that I had come through. If you do enjoy this video and if it does help you out in some way, it helps me out if you would give it a little thumbs up. Uh, there's not too much to really intro about right now. A couple of things I will point out as well is I don't own any jewelry and I don't have many handbags. So they're not very difficult for me to put away. You'll find obviously the less that you own, the easier it is to keep your wardrobe organized. That being said, I will share the rest of my tips in the video. So let's jump into it. All right, so my half of the cupboard isn't overly massive and it's not like I own tons of clothes anymore. So I will quickly show you guys what I've got going on. First off, I think it's important to hang as many of your clothes as you can. That way it's easier to see what you do own and they're less likely to get damaged when they're hung up properly. I like to use these Hankman coat hangers. They're really, really sturdy. They sit nicely in the cupboard and they've got felt on the edges. So then your clothes aren't slipping off and they're looked after. I do also like to put clothing deodorizers in my cupboard. In the bag on the right are clothes that I'm thinking of getting rid of that are slightly too big for me and the bag on the left is where I store purses and handbags that sort of thing. I only have two in there I think at the moment but that's my travel bag. Now if we move over to the other side of the cupboard, this is where I keep my shoes. Really important to remember to clean off your shoes before you put them away. If they are wet, wipe them down. Don't put them away when they are wet. So you can see there's a couple of little extra things I keep in my cupboard. I like to keep a brush in the cupboard for my shoes. That's just so I don't lose it. I know it lives where my shoes live. And then I also have some charcoal in there to absorb any moisture. You can buy these awesome trays from arts and crafts stores for beads and storage. And that's what I like to put my underwear, socks and belts in. Drawers are really, really simple. This is my drawer for my workout clothing. A fair bit of it has been in the wash at the moment, um, but this is normally my most full drawer. Before anyone asks why I don't own colored clothes, it's because I don't like wearing colored clothes, obviously. I always have someone comment that for some reason. Uh, drawers are really simple. I have quite shallow drawers. If your drawers are deeper, you can get these awesome drawer separators from places like Ikea. And that's great for putting your clothes in. If you aren't able to get those, so for example, my drawers are really quite shallow. So I find rolling them works really well. And that's really all I have in my closet. So it's pretty simple to keep it in order. And those are just a few of my tips for keeping your clothing and your shoes nice and organized when you put them away. I want to hear from you guys, what's the area of your wardrobe or cupboard or whatever you like to call it that you struggle with the most? I know mine was definitely that top drawer that has all my socks and underwear and all that sort of thing. That was a mess before I got that tray in there. Um, so what's your area? How can I help you? Like what can I focus on for the rest of the minimalism series? I will of course be making more videos for this series. So if you are new, don't forget to subscribe and I will catch all of you guys in my next video. Bye.